Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another tutorial slash toolkit sort of a breakdown. Uh, it's a low poly toolkit, so let's just uh, let's just jump right in. So here's a quick little overview of this free toolkit that uh, you can download for free. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I recently had some low poly stuff come up and I had to do a lot of objects. I needed a fast way to make them give that low poly look. So uh, let me show you uh, real quick how I did that. Uh, first thing that comes with the preset just in time for the holidays are these ornaments, a tree and a wreath. Um, that just comes with it, kind of shows you how the toolkit works if you need that. That's awesome. Otherwise, let me go ahead and hide these holiday objects. And um, I also lit it with the sky. That might come offline uh, when you open the toolkit, but just add your own HDRI right in here and it'll light the scene a little bit and give some reflections. So. I'm gonna turn the sky off as well. And let's turn off the holiday objects. And I'm gonna actually, and I'm gonna actually get out of the interactive viewer here. And so here we have our uh, low poly toolkit. When I scroll this down, we have object one, object two. I just made two separate nulls here in case you wanted to add multiple objects. But really what I'm just gonna focus on real quick is object one. So quick example here, uh, let's just go ahead and drop in, let's do, uh, let's just do a sphere. And let me do all R to uh, get out of the interactive viewer render there. And I accidentally grouped our sphere there. So let's go ahead and take this sphere, for example. I'll just put it in the middle of the scene here. Let's make it a little bit larger. And all I'm going to do to start to get this uh, quick, down and dirty, low poly look is I'm just going to drag this right into our object one. And, uh, you know, it's kind of tough with the sphere, but we're already starting to get that look. Now, if you drop your object in, you don't really see those lines and you don't quite have that, those low poly edges that you want. Make sure that you delete your font tag. And I, I'm just going to turn the interactive render on real quick. And, you know, there we go. We have our low poly looking object. And some of the options we have in here are polygon reduction and displacer. So if you want, you can kind of play with um, how much reduction strength you want. And you can also play with the amount of strength in your displacer. So let me go ahead and delete that since it's, uh, you know, kind of gives us sort of a weird preview. Let's drop in something like a landscape. And I'll turn this towards the camera a little bit. You know, maybe do something like this. I'm going to scale the whole thing up and let's sort of, you know, kind of give it that landscapey look. And I'm just going to do the same process. I'm going to take our landscape. I'm going to drop it into our object one in our toolkit. And already we sort of have things happening. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll delete the Fong tag. And, you know, let me undo that really quick. Let's go to the interactive render. And let's sort of look at, see what that looks like with the Fong tag. Again, not really the low poly. Let's delete that Fong tag. Updates. And there we go. We start to get our cool little low poly look. And it's fast and easy. And some of the other features you can play with real quick is, you know, you can adjust your segments to kind of see what sort of different looks it'll give you. So I'm just dropping the segments of this uh, landscaped object here and as well as continue to play with the polygon reduction settings. So I'll turn the interactive render region on back real quick. I'll just go ahead and give it the green texture from our holiday pack really quick. Turn that on. I'm just going to turn the sky back on so we can see it. And the reflections are a little crazy right now. Let's turn that back off. But as you see, we kind of get this fast, easy way to generate our low poly landscape. So that's just a quick little uh, breakdown toolkit tutorial today. Uh, that low poly toolkit is in the description below. It's a free download. Go ahead and check it out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial next Friday, and have a great one.